trepidation. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. Uh, this is the summary video review to the full written review, which is in the link below in the description. You get a lot more detail about the instrument. Thanks as ever, running across the bottom of the screen there to people who donate to help keep this site going. Got a ukulele doesn't take money from brands or stores in payment in cash or in gifts like some ukulele reviewers do. I couldn't do impartial reviews and say what I like about them if that was the case. I'd feel duty bound to say things are nice because I'm being given free gifts. I don't do that. Um, so the only reason this site is here is thanks to those people. It's much, much appreciated. And if you like what you see on the YouTube channel, why not think about subscribing? You know what to do, the button's down there. That would really help me out as well, get that subscribe account up. Okay, I use that word trepidation. And the reason for that is I've reviewed a couple of instruments from this brand before. I played several others and yet to find one that impresses me and in fact some of them have downright annoyed me because I think they are overpriced poor quality materials the ones I reviewed um, and I've seen some pretty terrible quality control from them as well bridges coming off and things like that but people rightly said that I'm perhaps being a bit unfair because I only looked at their sort of real cheaper entry-level stuff um, so I'm trying to redress the balance and the brand is called Luna and this is the High Tide Exotic Mahogany Concert. Um, the High Tide series are a bunch of laminate instruments in all of the scales. This one is uh, laminate exotic mahogany, more on that in a moment. Also available in things like koa, uh, lots of different woods. Um, and as I say, exotic mahogany, that means flamed, stripy. It's, it's a laminate, so it's only the outer veneer that's that, of course. Uh, but you know what? That's really nicely put together. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on really nicely book matched and really attractive back as well. Uh, I really like the look of that wood. Um, the stripe is really, really pretty. Uh, I also like the overall look of the shape with this um, very softened off uh, staggered shoulder for a cutaway. Um, it's nice. Um, where I think it's let down is the fact that this is a satin finish. It's a grain fill satin finish and a very decent one. Uh, but I think it would look better and these colours would pop more if it was gloss. That's not a huge major gripe, to be fair. Um, that's personal preference. The bridge is made of walnut. It's an attractive enough shape. Uh, I like that. It's a tie bar. The saddle is made of plastic and is straight topped. I think a plastic saddle is a really easy upgrade for them to put bone or new bone or tusk or something like that in there. Um, no, plastic. I think that's a shame. I think that's a mark of a, a cheap instrument. Um, decoration. This is dark black walnut edge binding around the top, back, and this attractive back stripe and tail stripe. I really like that. Um, Complemented with maple purfling stripes. I like that too. The abalone sound hole ring is nicely done, albeit it doesn't match the walnut, although if that was a black ring, I think it would look a bit awful. Um, but it must be said, there are some sort of flaws in the binding. Um, you know, I'm always picky about these things, but I, I always notice them, and particularly because it's dark, they stand out a little bit more. Um, so they irritate me a bit. I've seen worse, though. I have seen worse, to be fair. As I say, satin finish, I think it would be better with a gloss. The neck is made of mahogany. It's got very obvious joints. That's got some flaming in it as well, hasn't it? Some stripe, that's that's rather attractive. I hadn't noticed that other than in this light before. Three pieces, there's a joint at the heel, and there is a horrible joint up here at the headstock that I think has got filler in it. Um, that's horrible, don't like that at all. Uh, I also don't like massively rounded profile on the back. It's like a broom handle, and it's 34 millimeters from G, uh, not width and only 27 from G2A. That's far too narrow for me. I couldn't play that. Uh, I certainly wouldn't buy it, uh, but your mileage may vary. I understand everyone's hands are different. It's not for me. If you've got big hands, you might not like this. Um, okay, that's topped with more walnut for the fingerboard. We'll come on to the decoration in a moment. What I don't like about the fingerboard is the fact that's walnut, that's walnut. They're different colors. It's too pale. Uh, it needs to be darker, it needs to be that colour, or even this colour, which is also walnut. 
I think it's really pale and it, it's in good condition. It's, it doesn't need oiling, it's just a lighter wood. Uh, the decoration. Um, now people will say, oh, Baz hates inlays. Um, I don't know why there's that circle dot at the first, not got a clue. But in the uh, third, uh, fifth, seventh, twelfth and uh, onwards, is um, these are really nice. I like, this is the high tide uh, thing. They are waves in abalone. Do you know what? I really like those. I think they look really good. Uh, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to the body, frets, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's edge bound down the side in black to hide the fret ends. The fret ends are not sharp, but it's damn close. Very, very close to being sharp. So they, they get a buy there, but only just. Um, that's far too narrow for me. The headstock, I think, looks too skinny. Uh, it's an attractive shape, though. I'll give it that. Uh, and I don't like how the logo is kind of lost. It's too pale. You can hardly see it. Um, and that's not just this light. It's, there we go. It's too pale on that, on that headstock, but there we are. Then a real surprise. The geared tuners. Open gears, black buttons. These are made by Grover. They're not the highest end Grovers, but they're Grovers all the same, and all Grovers are decent tuners. I'm really impressed they've put Grover tuners on this. That is a, because the, the, some of the Lunar tuners I've used before have been woeful. These are really good tuners. I like those a lot. That's decent. The strings are a Quiller, and it comes with the Lunar padded gig bag. Um, laminate instrument, lots of decoration, about 150 pounds. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's certainly there kicking around cheaper than some of the laminate uh, exotic wood laminate collars. Um, but there's a lot in this price point to compete with. Um, but you know what? I like a lot about it, to be honest. It's a far cry from the other Lunas that I looked at. Uh, I think this would be nicer gloss, but I really do like the look of the wood. I like, I like the shape. I like the neck. It's too pale, though. I really don't like that nut width at all. Those tuners are wonderful. Um, to hold, very, very slightly neck heavy. Not so much that you notice it when playing, but it is very, very slightly dippy at the headstock. But it's a light instrument at only 40, 490 grams, so you don't really feel it dipping. I've seen much worse again still. Let's get it tuned up and have a play. That's what it's all about. Because the other thing about some of those Lunas is I found them a little bit one dimensional. Um, See how this one goes. And I'm gonna find it hard to play because I don't like this nut width. That's just me, as I keep saying. But there's another reason, and that is because the uh, the setup on this is terrible. Um, the nut is massively high, which is gonna throw some of the first position notes out. And the string height at the 12th is above three millimeters. That's too high. So that needs to come down. That needs to come down. I know how to do that. If you're buying one of these and you've never done a setup on an instrument before, you're going to have to pay to do that. So that's not good. Um, the setup is poor out of the box. Okay, we're in tune. The volume. All right. All right. The volume's all right. The sustain is average. And I think that's going to impact it. Um, it is the average. Too narrow. A bit strangled it's like there's something trying to get out but it's boxed in it's not an attractive it, it works as a ukulele and it's not overly bright and overly dark it's kind of in the middle but do you know what I mean it feels like uh, I don't know I've been 
playing uh, stringed instruments for about 30 years. These strings are so high, it's leaving dents in my fingers. It's hurting to play it. It's not a howler. <coughs> it is a far cry better than the other Lunas I have reviewed. Far cry better. But the sound is alright. It's passable, but there's a lot out there that will beat it. And I think it's in a very, very uh, busy price point that makes it hard to stand out. Um, I've certainly played some of those Carla exotic laminates that have a lot more life to the sound of them. This feels like boxed in and constrained. But it's pretty enough, and it works as a ukulele. I think the looks of this wood are terrific. I really do like this fingerboard uh, decoration. I really do. Those tuners are fantastic. The nut width is too narrow for me, and it's too rounded on the back as well, but that's a personal thing. I think it would look better in gloss. So it, there's mixed, but on the whole, a pleasant surprise on the build and looks. Uh, it's put together all right, actually. Um, the sound is just kind of... Um, it's just not out the park, is it? It's there we are, um, but not horrible. So it doesn't get a terrible score. The first time I've reviewed a Luna that didn't get a bad score, uh, and whilst it's not a full-on recommendation, I'm not steering you away from it either because there's much to like about this, to be honest. Um, the Luna High Tide Exotic Mahogany Concert, uh, also available in other scales as well, and other woods, uh, about 150 pounds. Not totally terrible at all. Um, yeah, I've quite enjoyed looking at this one. Uh, nice to have a, a pleasant surprise, let's put it that way. It is absolutely scorching hot in the UK this week. Uh, you can probably see perspiration on my forehead. It is stifling in this room. Um, I hope you stay safe. Um, put the sun cream on if you're in the UK. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. I will be back um, in a week's time with another ukulele review. Don't know what's coming next, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Thanks very much for watching. And a reminder again, if you like the content here, why not subscribe? Help me out. Much appreciated. See you very soon. Go carefully, everyone. Bye-bye.